I'm going to take this uh, concept of sampling frequency now and work through an example. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to start with a new canvas. Say I have a system that has this fo the following characteristics. This is frequency, and this is noise. So this is the Fourier transform of what's going on in the time domain. Let's say it has frequencies like this. So the 1 over F noise comes down, we hit a knee in the curve where 1 over F noise drops below thermal noise, and then we're thermally noise uh, dominated there. And let's say this knee happens at 1 hertz. And we know that ahead of time, let's say for instance that we do, and so we're going to set our sampling frequency at something above that, so we're thermally noise dominated, and let's say we just choose it to be 10 hertz. So we're going to operate out at this point in the curve. We're going to be able to, through our correlated double sampling, ignore the 1 over F noise. We will collect a sample every at this 10 hertz rate, so every 0.1 seconds, which is 1 over 10 hertz, we'll create, we'll collect a sample, collect a sample, and record that to the system memory. But within that tenth of a second, we can do whatever we want. We could collect one sample, or we could integrate on a capacitor and collect an infinite number of samples, effectively an infinite number of samples. Uh, and let's say we're going to do a case where we collect four. We're going to collect four subsamples. How is that going to look? Let me scroll down to show you how that's going to look. We're going to collect four samples. Let's say, to continue our previous example, we have a curve where this is now time, and this is absolute, this is voltage, uh, and there's plus five volts. That's the voltage we want to see. But, of course, in time, there's going to be some zigging and zagging in the curve. Let's say we collect one sample here at 0 0.1 seconds, and then another sample here at 0 0.2 seconds, and then another one out here at 0 0.3 seconds. So this is our 10 hertz sampling frequency, the, the period, the, the time between these samples. Let's say we're within each of these samples, we're going to, with meta samples, we're going to subsample. So we'll sample once there at point A, another one at point B, another one at point C, another one at point D. And we'll be able to do something with those values to create this one value that we'll store to memory. Now let's say, what are we going to see at those points? So subsample, uh, let's say A, B, C, D. And this is at time. I'm picking this time. Let's just say I divided the sample into four. So this is at 0 0.025 seconds. This is at 0 0.05. This is at 0 0.075. And this is at 0 0.1, uh, 0.010 seconds. What is the value that we got from those uh, value that we got from those instantaneous samples? Let's say this one is 5.01 volts. This one is 4.99 volts, this one is 5.02 volts, and this one is 4.99 volts. What is the average value? Well, then we, let's say the operation we're going to do on those samples is just A, we're going to average them together, A plus C plus, A plus B plus C plus D divided by 4. And that's going to come out to be 5.0025 volts. I just did the math elsewhere. Uh, ideally, we would see 5.0000 volts. We don't have exactly the ideal value, but this averaging of the values together is closer than any one of the individual values. We benefited, in this case, from averaging them together. Now, if we were to decrease the sampling frequency, we could collect more subsamples. Uh, but we would run the risk of getting into a portion of the noise curve where we would operate up here, and we'd have to worry about thermal noise more than we would if we operate down here. Uh, so it's a trade-off of, of sampling frequency. And, and actually, what, like I said, what many people will do is they won't worry about collecting many samples and then averaging them together. They'll just collect one. And for many applications, particularly ones that end up being used for human vision at the end, where people are looking at a picture, that's probably fine.